Is President Joe Biden's upcoming weekend trip to the southern border too little, too late? Will Republican lawmakers think so and add his new plan to curb the record flow of migrants is simply a Band-Aid? But Democrats hope it will open the door to reviving immigration reform. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. The question remains, how do we manage a record number of migrants seeking asylum coming to the border in a humane and dignified way, but still keep the country secure of terrorists and drugs like fentanyl and other threats? Republicans tell me that they still can't believe that it's taken so long for President Biden to go to the border. Well, it's about time, almost 730 days, a.k.a. two years. Texas Congressman Pat Fallon tells me Biden's failures with the border crisis continues to put Americans at risk. This is ridiculous. We had we had never had a month where we had 200,000 illegal border crossings. We've never had that before. We had eight months in a row this year. We had the worst November we have ever had. And being from Texas, what Joe Biden has done is made every state a border state. As EWTN News Nightly reported, Biden's plan includes accepting 30,000 migrants a month from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. The president says that it will work as part of a border strategy that incorporates an expanded use of Title 42 expulsions and crack down on those who fail to use the plan's legal pathways. And what this president has done as far as the southern border uh, is the most irresponsible policy that threatens our national security. Democrats tell me a complete overhaul of the broken immigration system needs to occur, just like the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops has been calling for. So the Catholic bishops write uh, in their call for immigration uh, reform and for you know, us not to forfeit our humanity in the process. Uh, our small businesses need it, our large businesses need it. Uh, for humanitarian and economic reasons, I'm so glad that this is getting the attention that it deserves. Others want Congress to help rebuild Latin American economies, fix those markets so they can purchase U.S. products. It's been 50, 60 years that they've been broken. And we, we just don't think of it that way. We want to build a border. No. These are our neighbors. They're not moving any day soon. A group of Republican senators led by Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee are planning a trip to the southern border of their own on Monday. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.